Hello everyone. So today I wanted to share uh, what I'm feeling t today about a situation that for me it's really, it's been really heavy, it's been really tough and uh, I always try to make the most of it, I always try to remain positive. But sometimes it's really hard when situations like this happen. Uh, for those who does, doesn't know, I am uh, living in the streets since uh, 4 of July. And, um, and I didn't recur to my family because my family, uh, my grandmother, is doing black magic to me. She wants to see me, you know, um, a wheelchair until I die because I was the one that um, developed my gifts and my spiritual gifts and start to see beyond uh, the things that he did. she didn't ever told anyone um, that she was doing black magic and uh, she was harming a lot of people, including me, my mother, um, my grandfather, uh, and she was also doing black magic spells to kill people. And now <laughs> it's my turn, she's trying to kill me also. And my mother, is under my grandmother's spell, so I cannot uh, um, go to her because she she's under the spells of my grandmother, and um, the way she treats me, it's really different uh, of the way she treats my sisters. We have. I have two sisters from my mo mother, and the treatment mm -hmm. is totally mm -hmm. different. I know she's really hurt with me because I left the house when I was younger, but um, I came there to ex to apologize, but it didn't cha change the thing. So, yeah. she never calls to see if I'm okay. She never. She's never there. So. It's really difficult, it's really um, challenging for me. And speaking of those things, it's really hard for me. And yesterday, uh, I made a agreement. I, I told, I was invited to a baptism of a friend that is living in Switzerland. And, but she's Portuguese. And I... Yesterday I, saw, I sent her a message telling me, telling her that I couldn't go because I'm living this situation. So I, d I didn't have any money to go to the location of the baptism. And I, and I don't have and I didn't have, uh, you know, uh, a place where I could uh, take a bath and sleep and whatever. So, she was like making all these questions, all the, how they happen, whatever. It was like, you know, uh, integral territory. Uh, sorry, <laughs> you know, they were, yeah, and um, I said, yeah, can you, can you pick me up or whatever, and um, she went to other friend that I didn't, ha I didn't recur to, because I know she was, is also using black magic. And uh, to help me find a place. And I said, 
What's the point? If you not, you cannot help me, just say you can't. You can. I can't help you right now. I have another priorities. I never have. Uh, you know, she has kids. I understand. But if you don't have something, um, something that you can do or something that you can give, you just remain quiet, you know, you just remain, because spreading the, the situation is not helpful, it's really not helpful. And um, since that, I'm, I'm feeling my head really heavy because of that girl that she was telling this, this story to. Uh, so today I had to send a message telling the situation was solved because I realized I was going to be obsessed by that, that energy and I didn't want it to, I don't want to. I left the house with other six girls that were doing every single day black magic to me. I was feeling really heavy. I went back there yesterday to pick a letter. And uh, the energy is so heavy that I came with my vibration really low. And I, as a sensitive medium, that is really it's something really difficult for me to deal with. And people don't usually understand how it affects me. But they don't want to understand. They just, you know, they see their own perspective. They don't care if the other people feel different or perceives different to the reality they don't care and for me it's really sad because I always try to put myself in other people's shoes you know and it's hard for me to you know to people not be able to do the same but that's okay and I wanted to tell you that uh, when I was in the other place, when I was able to help somebody, uh, I had this the, um, this girl, which was the granddaughter of my stepfather, and uh, one day I I just was walking on the streets and I and uh, I found her, and she was walking around and I said, well, hello, how are you? What are you doing here? And she told me she was, she was uh, kicked out of the uh, house. And I said, okay, I live with my grandmother, but I will try to find a way to convince her to you, for you to stay there. And so I did it. And she stayed there and I said, uh, well, I can assure you one night, but the others I cannot assure you because my grandmother, the the, the house is not mine. Uh, so that's my grandmother's choices, you know. And then she told me the story. Then she started to really open up herself. But you know, with some some when uh, people uh, when a person is in this vulnerable situation, being, starting to question and question and questioning, it's not helpful. It's not helpful. Actions are helpful, you know? Acting uh, are helpful. You can question, okay, but respect the peop the person it's it's an humiliating situation already for you to start to you know dig in dig in dig in and 
stop. There's a person right there. It's a person, you know. And uh, if she, if she or he, trust yourself to tell you how what he's been through or what is, they are going through. Okay, you know. If you want to genuinely help, help. If you are, if you have the means, because. I'm not telling to help you somebody if you don't have the means to. If you can help, you say no. Okay. It's it's really complicated. And uh, this. It was uh, that other time when I was really going with, uh, I had this friend that I met in the, a bedroom uh, that I was renting. We had two rooms, so she, she lived next to the mine. And then she had troubles with the uh, ex-husband. And uh, she had to leave the home, and uh, she went to, you know, guest house and uh, hostels to sleep. And uh, that woman helped me, but she was really a uh, evil woman, and uh, she made my life a living hell after. But at that time, I was really vulnerable, and I was really trusting her. And uh, one time, she just ran, ran out of money to to pay for a place. And I was... So I had these neighbors. I, I found out that I had these neighbors that I used to um, hang out to years before and uh, they were living in the same street as I was and uh, they they start to help me they give me food and uh, their help was really really genuine and I hope one day I can help them back when my situation is better but um, yeah, and I said to them, please, they had one uh, other bedroom, which, which was available for the visits and stuff. And I said, please, can you help me? I have this friend, she, she doesn't have anywhere to go. She couldn't go back to the same apartment where I was living. So I said, she doesn't have anywhere to go. We need to can she sleep here? I will sleep here with you, with um, with her, so you, I can assure you you are safe. She, you don't know her, but uh, and I said oh, you, they said okay. So she slept there like more two weeks, I think, and then when she got the means, she started to rent her own place. At that time, I really, <laughs> I, I would do anything. I would really do anything for a friend. I would, even if I had to sacrifice, you know, my own image, my own uh, dignity, you know, I would, because friends for me are really precious. But um, with the spiritual awakening, and I start to see the, the people as they are, I realize people, the people I, I was surrounding with wasn't good for me. Wasn't good for me. And they smiled on my face, but then start tried to hurt me and tried to tear me down on my back 
and that was really hurtful. That was really painful for me to deal with, you know. And uh, now, this situation that I, I'm, I was, I went through yesterday, where I realized that, um, I realized that my presence was, wasn't that important in the uh, baptism of, of her daughter because of my situation. And, uh, you know, she, she started to help me. I understand that she had a good uh, intention, but starting to make those, those questions, all this, it's not going to help be helpful if you don't have actions you can say okay uh, if you are in the situation where are you i will find a solution and we'll pick you up you know we'll, we'll, tr we'll do our best and talking talking it's not going to be helpful you you only make the pe the person comfortable that's how i felt so if you have someone in that situation, if you have some somehow, see if you can help the peop, the person somehow help and ask the questions later, you know, it's extremely uncomfortable. Another thing, when uh, I was going to live in the streets, the last day I was in house, in the, in my apartment, I published a video telling that I was going to be without a place to stay. I received a message from an ex-friend that I don't talk with anymore. She also, she continues to send me a message, but I, I don't even answer. And, um, saying like, oh, I'm sorry that you're going through that situation. Uh, if I could, I would help you, uh, blah, 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 blah. Man, if you don't have anything, you know, well, more to say, if you don't have anything, you know, practical to say, don't say anything. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. You do yourself a favor, you do a favor to the person that is going through that situation, which is already hard. And um, yeah, it's... Um, I just wanted to share this because it's really how I feel. And um, I had received help from people, but I mean, true help, unconditional help, genuinely help, you know? People gave me food, people randomly gave me money, you know? They don't ask me questions. They saw that I was going through a hard time and sometimes friends or the so-called friends are worse than uh, unknown people. And it's really, really sad because I literally could do anything for a friend, anything. I went through situations where I, I used to give uh, the money I had, you know, and I was going through the hardships to the rest of the month. So my friends could have water in their home or electricity, you know. And when I went to hardships, those friends just turned my back on me. So, but I know God always sees everything. And somehow we'll put the person, the people that really can help me 
from an authentic place, authenticity place of genuinely wanting to, to help. Thank you very much.